All right, welcome back to Pokemon Quartz, everybody. Uh, let's just go on out here. Where were we? Oh, that's right. I have to go back north because I couldn't save in, in, in the Mallville XP or, or go to the Pokemon Center in the Mallville XP and be able to go forward. Uh, stupid thing. Uh, you may notice, hopefully, that a few things have been changed up. Um, yeah, I apologize for the... Uh, for for the for the damn uh, what is it called the sinking issues in the last episode, I don't hello, I don't know why that happened. I looked into it. I couldn't fix that one. Hopefully this one, will have it fixed properly. Fingers crossed here. Um, we'll just have to see how it goes. Boo! What the fuck is that? Boo Bell. Doduo, what did they do to you? Ah. I, I just just headbutt that thing. Ah, headbutt it. Just just boom. Knock it in the face with your head. Ha! You missed. But wow, what the fuck is that? Uh huh. You're not so extreme. You won't beat my record. Aha! Well, I lost, but you won't beat my skating record. <laughs> Okay, then. Oh, hi. Skating is my passion, but winning battles is great, too. Okay. Let's let's battle. Uh, three Pokemon. Yeah, another Boobel. Uh, these, is, these aren't as bad as some of the others I've seen, so, you know. Oh, -ho. really? Come on. Metal Claw. Aw, oh, yeah. How about a claw of metal to your face? That, I don't like you. You can get Metal Cloud to face. <laughs> and it brought my attack right back up. I love that. Boo Bell again. Okay, I need to put somebody out there that could... You know what? Hey, Cornel, you're going the fuck out there. Hmm. Hmm. Uh... And he's faster. Yes! Wow! That's pretty impressive. Salama? Salama? I don't know. Flosi, you're going out there. I don't know what this is. Salama. You look... You look like a sperm with legs! And a snake tongue! I'm faking you out. There you go. Yeah, just... Wow. You just look... You look weird, dude. Who did I? Losing battles aren't fine for me. They're fine for me because that means I won. You can beat me in battle. You can beat me in the battle, but I'm the best at skating. Good for you. I've been watching you, stalker. You're a snail! What? How can you be so slow? Oh, I understand. The wheels of your skates are too tight. If you want to take the challenge, frulst losing them. Frulst? Frulst? That just looks like a typo. That's not even a language thing. That's just a fucking typo. Eh, controller work. If you want to donate for a new controller, no. <laughs> Nah. Well, I do take them. I, 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 I do not want to like spend like half the show asking for donations. I don't want to do that. Ugh. Okay, we're back here to the Mole Hill, and we get to go north finally. After all this time, why are you here on Mole Hills? Are you a traveler? Then leave us mole men alone and travel, kid. Well, fuck you too, buddy. What about you? Want to go to the desert? You can, with its right prize. One million dollars for one mole ticket. Need it for go-to desert. Oh, you don't want it? Then say goodbye and get out of here. Fuck you too. How rude. Oh, I get to fight this one. Will thou leave the mole hills without battling? Well, I battle to get in the mole hills. What are you talking about? Okay. Jacques. 
Yeah, Johnic. Yay. Is a Johnic a Geo dude? Okay, Mudslap. Oh yeah, that's right. Mudslap sucks. <laughs> I remember in second generation, like like the original Gold and Silver and everything, that Mudslap was actually decent, or at least it, it, it may have been just the fact that it was new and it was oh my god, and it was beating the shit out of my rock types at the time. Uh, you know, fucking Faulkner, man. Okay, I'm just gonna switch out to you know what flow would be needs to get some action. Come on. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well you're gonna be absorbed. I'm gonna eat your soul now. There you go. How do you like having your soul eaten? Uh no. Oh, no. Of course. They're mole men, so of course they're going to have ground types. I get it, because they're moles. Yeah, I get it. Da, da, da. Oh, no. You lowered my accuracy. Still could eat your soul. <laughs> yeah. Whoop. Bernard Dog? Bernard Dog. Okay. Let's see what this is. You are weird. I still say you're weird. And you're using Defense Curl. Guess what? I'm using Absorb. Which I believe in this generation is a special attack. So you fail. Huh. Oh, shit. Of course you use Flail. Mm. Really? You have a Super Potion. My, isn't that special of you? Huh. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, wow, that was horrible. Come on. Just... Oh, you, 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 you're lowering my attack when you... Ow! Oh, shit. There you go. <sighs> Die. Thank you. Level 23. Aw, yeah. <gasps> Razor Leaf. I like this. I like this move. Razor Leaf is awesome. Uh, I'm going to keep Absorb just so I can have an HP restoring move. Um, I'll get rid of Quick Attack. And Floaby learned Razor Leaf. Oh yeah. Fuck yeah, Razor Leaf. We Molmen have lost. Have pity of us. Pity of us? Only Molmen can freely go to the desert. If thou want to go, thou must have a mole ticket with you. With thou. Really, dude? You're a dick. Can't go to the desert without a mole ticket. Really? I wanted to go check this goddamn rock. That's all I wanted to fucking do. <laughs> I've just discovered Mole Men's secret, secret power, as you hear. They use this for Carver at high speed on Har Rock. Har Rock? Not his first language. Want to know more about this? Yay, TM43! Hear me, using this TM, can, they can make secret bases on hard rocks like Brown Hills ones. But they don't know you can make secret bases on top of trees. If you have your own secret base, you can have your own room. Your room, your rules. That means by Ma and Pa. Pa and Ma, rather. <laughs> of course, you can decorate it with your own furniture and dolls that you can win on the casino or buy in Sea Blue City. Psst, now you can make business with the smugglers. Well, bye, old friend. Old? I'm gonna make the I'm gonna make the mine. <laughs> what? Old. Okay. You're weird. Hey, most of us were filming that program. Will you battle us so we can film that? Uh, sure. I could use the experience. Uh huh. 
Soy and Tinagon. Tinagon. Okay. So, let's see. Um, let's that for you. And you know what? I'm just going to headbutt Duckface here. Wow! Bye bye. <laughs> oh, but his accuracy fell. That's always nice. Oh, you pounded me. You're trying to pound me good. Wait. Wow! I've lost. We've lost. I'm imagining a paranoia about this lost battle. That word. I don't think it means what you think it means. Hey, nice battle, Moses. You are spectacular. You might don't know. These are the games you might don't know. Okay, I'm sorry. We run the skate shop, but we also make a TV program called K and V Trendy Time. It's the best. Hey, an interview would be great for the program, Moses. Will you let us interview you? Yeah, sure. You will? Thanks a lot, Moses. Well, let's go. What do you think about artificial insemination and ants and beetles? What? What was... What? <laughs> what? I just have one word. There's my word. How? So that's what you think. Okay, thanks. And that's all, folks. Kacho and Vin from here. Ha! Remember about Chub... Baka and be good kids. Dude! Okay. No, 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 no. I don't care if you're English or Spanish or whatever. Chewbacca has a universal spelling. You know, if, if you're writing in, 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 in this kind of, of tech... No, no, you spelled it wrong. No. This is not a language barrier thing. This is, this is you fucking spelled it wrong, motherfucker. And cut! Well, Moses, check TV. Maybe you catch your interview. Good. That way, then people can know what I feel about artificial insemination between ants and what? Hi. How you doing? Come on, take off your pants and what? Uh, take off your pants and jacket? Um. Uh, uh, thundish? That's not even the worst I've seen. Ow. Uh, what the fuck is... The fuck? Take off your pants and jack... What? Oh, there we go. And just for your trouble, you get lowered accuracy, too. Because you suck. I think this was originally Magikarp. They turned him into an electric type. And might make him threatening. Who knows? Wow. Except not so much. Yeah, definitely got all the small things. You talking about my dick? Take you off your pants and jacket. Take them off. La la la. What the hell are you on, dude? Ooh, berries. Three raspberries. <sighs> More raspberries. Take off your pants and jacket. No. 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 Maroon hole. Two peach berries. Yay. Oh, give me lumberries. I love the lumberries. If you don't know what lumberries are, they're a whole berry for Pokemon, and whenever one Pokemon is inflicted with something, it'll automatically cure them. Ooh, nice. Yay! Oh, I love this hot sand. And you? Oh. You get a battle from in there? Okay. And you are a beauty. Eh. <laughs> Okay, that one, you look like not to. You gained weight, dude. Oh, dear. Uh, it's only going to do 18 damage, which at this point would be enough. Oh, shit. Okay, um, let's see, something that will not affect it. Um, Acornal, hi. 
You get to come out and play, buddy. Come on out. There you go. Huh. Okay, I come out to Lear. Good to know. Boom. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, you little overweight not to. Flosy, huh? Well, I know what I can use for that. Ryu Kantor! Ah. Uh, go ahead and die. Thank you. Thank you and good night. So hot. Well, yeah. These hands are hot because of the volcano there. Yeah. Now, yeah, it does feel warm. So while I'm warming here, I'm going to take a moment and actually address something I should have addressed at the beginning of the video. I'm actually getting some feedback on this series now, which is great, because it's what I've really been looking for. And I've been taking you guys' comments under into consideration and doing trying different things here and there. I'm glad you guys, those of you who are saying you're enjoying it, are really enjoying it. I do appreciate that. Um, I really should have put this at the beginning of the video, not like smack dab in the last third. But, you know, hey. But hey, you know what? He's been working. He needs a, he needs a relax. Just wah! But yeah. But it's seriously, seriously, guys, it is all appreciated. Oh. Team Ambar. Hey, do you have that? Oh, you're wondering what's that? Yes, I am. <laughs> Where are you going? The cable bar to the top is temporarily closed. Temporarily closed, rather. <laughs> okay, I gotta admit, that looks really cool. I mean, you know, as infamous as, as this has been, and, and, and as bad as some of these sprites are, you can tell there is some effort put into this. Burn everything! That's the law of us arsonists! This is our Cornish sanctuary! Cauldron Volcano! Well, good for you. Do you want a medal? Uh-huh. The fuck? Yama yama. Yama yama. Oh! And I know it's yama yama because it's Spanish. Ah! Oh! The pun, dude. Yeah. We're going to try this again. Oh, shit. I don't have a water move for him, do I? Well, her, rather. Flossie needs a water move. And... I don't have much against the fire type, do I? Oh, dear. Ow. Huh. Flossie needs a water move. Big time. Ember. Ow. May as well use nature power and be done with it. Just hurry up. Huh. I guess these things are part fire, part rock. What? Oh, pale girl level. Burnco. Huh? Um. Ryu Contour, let's see what you could do with this guy. Uh, da, da, da. What the hell? Are you? <laughs> that is the face that says, My ass is on fire! Well, I'm gonna double team him. Because fuck him. Uh, you're not smogging me today, buddy. What? There you go. Wow. Yama yama. Ah, oh. I, I, I'm sorry. That pun is still horrible. That pun is still horrible. And I've turned into Phil Brain. I don't know why. Ah. Just wow. Well, if that is part rock, then this isn't going to do, do too well either. No. But it's still pretty strong. Yeah! Flame body. 
fucking flame body. Uh, of course you would have that. Another burn cow. Okay. At least I don't have to worry about being burned again. And down you go. Go down with your flaming ass self. Uh, toasted as a toast? Yeah, yeah I, I think that would work. It isn't me? Or did he look like he was summoning fire from his fingertip? It's an old man living inside the volcano. Phew, man, that's really amazing. Even I can't stand to be in that cave for an hour, and that old man never goes out. Okay, good. Good for him. Um, uh, let's see. Heals a burn. No, I did not want to check the tag. Heal your burn. Uh, super potions. Here we go. Yes, I know I could have used a full restore. But, uh, I'm saving them for gym leaders and stuff. <sighs> not knowing when I'm going to get back to the Pokemon Center, I am not going all the way back down there. Sorry. I, I just refuse to do so. Okay. Let's go in here. Cauldron. Oh. Looks like there are grassy patches in here. So, here we go. Repel! Yay! Huh. Okay. That happened. <sighs> more Rost Berries. And more Peach Berries. Good. Woot! Ah! What is violet and yellow, solid and gas, hot and poisonous, and they're cute? Um... I don't know. Power gas! Do you know... I gotta be honest. That he looks like... He looks like... Looks like... You know what? This is Two-Face's persona. Fursona, rather. If Two-Face had a fursona, this would be it. And yes. And yes, there are furries out there that do have Pokemon as fursonas. Fursona? But yeah, if, if Two-Face was to have one, this would be it. You, and of course you blow up. <laughs> I'm going to blow up. Eh. <laughs> Another power gas. Nope, 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 nope. I'm keeping this guy in. I'm keeping Opal in now, yeah, man. Just no. I think they have levitate. Yeah, they do. <sighs> How many times are you gonna tackle before you finally give up and blow up? Come on. Oh. Opel is faster. And making them flinch. Oh! Yay! You didn't get to blow up. <laughs> That's the power of gas! Ew! Uh, look, and dude, your finger's on fire. Don't you think power gas is the cutest Pokemon in the world? Well, I'd prefer to get a pass call. I prefer you to... Leave your gas alone. Leave me out of your ghastly fantasies, dude. Please. Yes, I'm skipping trainers and well as many as much as many trainers as I can, because I'm gonna come back and level up a little bit off off camera. I'm actually gonna do it this time. To train myself, I challenge all whom I meet. Karateka, Daisuke, Kango. Oh dear, I believe you're a fighting type. I believe I'm going to run away like a little bitch. Woot! Oh! And... Bye bye Uncle, 
Everybody give up! Yeah, you better cry, Uncle. All I can do is keep training until I can defeat strong trainers such as yourself. Good. Okay, I just want to get to the next town. Come on. Can we get to the next town? I think we can get to the next town. Or on berries. You know what? In terms of in-battle stuff, Oran berries, when compared to citrus berries, they're not as good, but they do have their uses, even in battle. So, okay. Brown Hill Deathland. Deathlands. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, better put on the repel. Come on. Uh, this is... What? You got a call from Borrow, Answer. Yeah, I'm wondering what the hell he's waiting for now. Hey, Moses, what's business? Well, business is where you go and you try to make money. You must be pretty far. I'm not hearing you clearly. Where are you? Wow, you're in Deathlands? You're brave. Well, I kind of have to go here. There's no other, way or no other place to go besides backwards. Indeed, Moses, I can't stand being there. I don't believe in ghosts, but po ghost Pokemon do exist. Then... Yeah. How do you do that? It's like saying, I don't, I don't believe in a desk, but I'm sitting here at a desk. And they're dangerous. You are near Polka Dot Town, aren't you? I've got a friend here. He's called Guillermo, and thanks to him we have free Pokemon boxes and teleporting lines. You should meet him. He lives in a small house near the river, but he goes often to the Pokemon Center to check if the PCs are working properly. Well, good luck in the badge career, Moses. Adieu. End of call. Okay, then. Fuck. <laughs> it's bigger now. Oh, uh, lady, I don't want to know what's going on. Uh, Catalan. That still could be... That's uh, still not as bad as some of the other things I've seen. Uh, meh. Oh, meh. Tackle. And it's raining! Huh. Ooh. <laughs> okay... You are crazy. <laughs> What's that behind you, kid? What? You, you, you suck. Yeah, I see you there, old woman. Just as I get to town. Witch's house. Oh, this is not town. Gimme, died ash. Gimme. Weird sing! Weird sing! Hello, Polka Dot Town. These polka dots are a mystery of polka dot town. They weren't put by humans. When people came to this area, the polka dots were already here. Unbelievable! <laughs> Unbelievable! <laughs> They're supposed to be mineral rocks, but they were erosionated by winds. But it's magical. I know it's I know it's not his first language, but goddamn! What's this beautiful, colorful, beautiful, wonderful, fantastical, full, fantastic full polka dots? I love them. Okay, Jillian, did you help him write this script? Maybe they found one mon one in Monaness. I've seen a Drake Draco running fast to there. Who? What? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So I'm just going to go over here to the Pokemon Center. It's about that time to wrap up anyway. Let's see if you have anything. Guy loves fossils there in Grey Hills. We made a big cavern and waste time digging it. Hi. Oh, sorry, you're a trainer. You arrived right on time. I just finished fixing this PC. Joy may be cute, but she's a bit pedant. Pendeja. She let a pair of trainers into the place, and they broke the PC, of course. Oh, sorry, I didn't introduce myself. I'm Guillermo, the Pokemon storage system developer. Really? Do you know Borrow? Oh, that's really neat. What about if you come to my house? It's near the river in Grey Hills. What is that? What the hell did he call her? I, I, I would have to look it up. Old tales say that these polka dots were dragon Pokemon steps. Of course, the maze is made by us. Okay, so we'll heal up. 
Oh, lordy. Whoop. We fully healed your fainted Pokemon. Okay. And so, of course, as we go to save, this is going to be the end of this particular episode. Thank you guys for listening and watching, and hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, hopefully, next few episodes will be a little bit more exciting, because I'm willing to bet that we're going to be running into that Team Anbar again really, really soon. So, until then, this is Gomer the Ranting Thespian, signing off.